You may have or be expecting a child who has a cleft lip, cleft lip and palate, or cleft palate. You probably have many questions such as, what is a cleft and what caused it? When a child is born with a facial difference, parents often ask these two questions. Our team at Nicholas Children's Hospital is here to answer these questions and guide you through the process. A cleft is an opening. A cleft lip usually involves the upper lip and occurs when the lip does not close during development of the baby, creating an opening between two portions of the lip. There can be an opening on one side of the lip, which is called a unilateral cleft lip, or on both sides of the lip, which is called a bilateral cleft lip. The amount of space between the two portions of the lip can vary. In addition, the opening may extend all the way to through the base of the nose, which is called a complete cleft lip, or may stop before the nose, which is called an incomplete cleft lip. Many children who are born with a cleft lip will also have an opening in the gum, which is called the alveolus. This may affect the teeth in that area, resulting in missing or extra teeth. We will not know if the cleft affects the teeth until the child is older. A cleft palate is an opening in the roof of the mouth. The roof of the mouth consists of two parts, the hard palate, which is the hard part of the mouth just behind the teeth, and the soft palate, which is a soft tissue at the back of the mouth, which ends with the uvula. Children can have a cleft palate involving the hard palate only, the soft palate only, or both the hard and soft palate. Cleft palate can come in many different shapes and sizes. Children can have a cleft lip, cleft lip and palate, or cleft palate. Clefts are as unique as the children who have them. Cleft lip with or without cleft palate occurs in approximately one in 700 babies. Cleft palate alone occurs in approximately one in 1700 babies. Cleft lip and palate is one of the most common birth differences. To understand what causes a cleft lip or palate, we need to understand a little bit about how the lip and palate form when a baby is developing during pregnancy. All babies' organs form within the first trimester of pregnancy. Facial development begins with the parts of the baby's face separated on opposite sides. Parts then come together towards the middle to form the baby's face. The facial structures, including the lip and palate, begin forming at approximately five weeks gestation and are completely formed by the 12-13 weeks of gestation. There are many factors that influence the closure of the lip and palate, including genetic factors, the genes that a child inherits from their mother and father, and environmental factors. Most children who are born with a cleft lip and palate have what is called an isolated cleft lip and palate, meaning that it is not due to an underlying genetic condition. Occasionally, a cleft lip and palate or cleft palate alone is caused by exposure to a medication, drug, or virus during the pregnancy. A small percentage of children who are born with a cleft lip and palate have an underlying genetic condition that caused their cleft lip and palate. In children born with only a cleft palate, approximately 50 to 60% have an isolated cleft palate, and 40% have an underlying genetic condition that caused the cleft palate. It is important that all children with a cleft lip and palate and cleft palate have a genetics evaluation to help determine the cause of the cleft and the chance that it could happen again in future pregnancies. We hope this information is helpful to you and your family. The Craniofacial Center team at Nicholas Children's Hospital is here to answer your questions and guide you through the process. To know more about this condition, watch our video series called Born with a Cleft. Here at Nicholas Children's Hospital, we want to create a healthy and happy future for our children.